Hello everybody. Um, we'll take this opportunity to go ahead and uh, get in some viewer mail that we received uh, since we taped episode 4 RB Special Chuck Roast. Um, this thing's moving along nicely. Fan base is growing. Uh, I'm going to continue to read viewer mail. I'm going to try to get uh, some viewer mail in on every episode that we do. Like I said, I'm adding this one in later because the mail really didn't start flowing good until after we got this one shot. Mike R. from uh, Hopewell, Virginia writes in and says, uh, RB, I've always uh, been curious, uh, what do you prefer, boxers or briefs? Uh, thong, banana hammock, son, preferably in dark colors. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure why you would need to know what kind of underwear I wear, but I'd appreciate it if you did not write in anymore. It's, it's, it's creeped me out, dude. Um, I've got one here from uh, Justin P. Richmond, Virginia. Justin writes in and says, uh, RB, I, I really enjoy your, your cooking videos. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I have noticed, however, that uh, your grill appears to be really dirty. Well, Justin, it's a season, it's a well-seasoned grill. And I explained this to everybody at one point uh, when we were doing the chicken wings. The grate, yeah, it looks a little rough, but it, you heat it, you get it super hot, you brush it, and it's clean. There's nothing on there that's nasty. Now, you're probably what you're noticing is the uh, the carbon is built up around the inside of the grill itself, the enamel part of the grill. Uh, it, it imparts a very good smoky flavor uh, to whatever I'm cooking on it. Vegetables, meat, whatever, yeah. Probably leaving a huge carbon footprint. The screw you, Al Gore, I don't care. All right, makes my food taste good. That's all you need to worry about. Makes my food taste good. Uh, so Justin, actually when you see, uh, if you look at it the way I'm looking at it, yeah, uh, my grill's dirty, but much like your mom, dirty in a good way. I also envisioned at some point uh, having some guests on the show. Um, you know, I don't know how well known or important they'll be. They're regional celebrities. Uh, also going to take some uh, shows on location. I'm uh, going to the beach in July. We certainly are going to do some cooking down there. Always do. Um, we'd love to have everybody join us through video. Uh, generally cooks pretty good stuff down there. Come up with a real nice cross section of, uh, of recipes down there uh, from my sister-in-laws and my wife and, and everybody. Uh, probably be some fresh seafood involved, I'm sure. We're also taking a fishing trip to uh, Chesapeake Bay in June. Uh, there'll be either stripers or, or bluefish, one or the other, and uh, I'm going to take you all on the boat with us uh, via video. And uh, we're going to catch what we're going to cook here. So. Look, kind of looking forward to that as well. So, just want to thank everybody again. I really appreciate the support. Uh, we're uh, we're trying to make this uh, something that everybody will enjoy and learn a little something while they're having fun. So, I mean, I know I am. I learn something new every day. Not necessarily something good, but I still learn something. So, want to thank everybody again. Thank you. Okay, I've got my potatoes peeled. I've got them cubed. <clears throat> And I've got them in water. If you don't put them in water until you're ready to use them, they will oxidize and they'll turn brown and look nasty. That's, that's just how potatoes do. I've got a real fine dice on about uh, two good size slices off of a medium sized onion. What's going to happen is we're going to mix. First I'm going to strain these and make sure they're good and dry. And I'm going to mix these onions and with these potatoes, a little bit of oil, olive oil if I've got it, and I think I do, because that'll brand them a little bit better. Salt and pepper, some really fine cut uh, rosemary, and some really fine chopped up uh, thyme. We're going to put them in a corningware dish. We're going to put them in the oven in here beside this meat. It only needs probably about 45 minutes to an hour to cook. Meat takes about two, so we'll wait a little while before we put it in so it's all together at the same time. Uh, you can see I'm working the camera here again all by myself so y'all please bear with me we got the snaps on the back there they're uh oh yeah they're percolating nicely got them cut back to a simmer they need to go probably about an hour and then you can cut them off and just cut them on and uh 
spray him a little bit before we serve him. That's where we're at. Alright, we've got our potatoes here and they've been cut up, rinsed, kept in water so they didn't oxidize, turn brown on anybody. What we'll do is we're going to add a little bit of oil. You can use this safflower oil. You can use olive oil. Olive oil works better. I don't have any handy right now. Let's put a little bit on there. What you're trying to do is coat these potatoes. Here, I've got some really fine diced onion. I've got some fine diced thyme. Some really finely cut up rosemary. And some really finely cut up parsley. Out of Mrs. RB's extensive herb garden. Just going in here. We put it in. Get all that in there go. I really don't know but one way to do this, but this is the way I've always done it. I'll mix it in with my hands. What you want to do is you want to cover every piece of potato chunk that you can with onion, parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Once you feel like you've got it all covered, and yes, I have washed these hands today. You feel like you've got it all covered. Just quick rinse on my hands. Salt. You're saying, RB, why didn't you mix that salt in? Well, it doesn't really much matter. People are going to salt it when they go to eat it anyway. Fighting me here. There we go. Put the black pepper on top. What we're going to do now, I've cut this oven back to 325 because the uh, see it was percolating at 350. I had to cut it back some. You don't want to crab and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide that meat over. We're going to leave about a two, three inch gap in between the meat and the potatoes. Leave the potatoes uncovered for right now. Get them started good. We're going to come back here in a very short period of time. We're going to cover those potatoes, let them cook, and then we'll finish them up with them uncovered. We'll be right back. Everything's done. RB special chuck roast. Got the onions, carrots, everything laid around inside of it. I don't think it's tough as shoe leather. I don't know. We'll know here in a minute. Everything seems to be fine. Um, snaps, potatoes, nice and brown. I want to thank everybody again for checking out the site. I want to thank everybody again for your support on Facebook. Continue to do so. Uh, this has been episode four, RB Special Chuck Roast. Thank you.